Hello, my name is Tanya and welcome to my channel. I'm turning 30 tomorrow and I want to vlog my birthday. Also, my voice is kind of low because my roommate is sleeping, but I feel like it's the start of a new era. I really do think 30s are going to be my best time because my 20s was graduating college, finding a job, and trying to financially support my family. Not that I still don't have to do that now, but I am in a comfortable place where I can focus on myself more and want to grow, find hobbies, learn new things, and yeah, hopefully vlogging will keep myself accountable. Birthday, I'm planning to spoil myself, which I never really do. Well, sometimes I do. This time, it's going to be a three-day celebration before and after my birthday. So today is Thursday. I took Thursday and Friday off, and my birthday's tomorrow. Today, I'm going to spend some time alone, work out, eat at my favorite udon place, maybe do some shopping. Tomorrow, I am hanging out with my family, grabbing Korean barbecue for lunch, and then Saturday, hanging with my friend Cindy, and we're going to go luxury shopping. Short introduction, and let's get on with the day. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. to celebrate this once we heard that you got the role and so just I love that you're here. Oh.
So I really did go all out for my 30th birthday and splurge and bought a Cartier necklace that I've been wanting this whole year. Hopefully I'm not butchering the brand name because my pronunciation's not that great. But I just really like this necklace and I'm the type of person that when I wear jewelry, I don't really like to take it off. So this is something that I would hopefully keep forever and I'm matching with my friend Cindy and I will do an unboxing of this in a separate video because I feel like it deserves its own but I did get something else and I will unbox that right now and that is from Prada and I got a small card wallet because I have a YSL wallet that I've been having for three to four years and it's time to retire it because it's just been through a lot. So yeah, let's do an unboxing of this wallet. First off, it comes in this nice bag and I just pull the ribbon. Why am I struggling? And then a tape part. Here is the Prada box. Oh, this is kind of cute. Ouch. That is kind of like a scrunchie. Maybe I could use this as a hair tie. And then here's the Prada wrapping paper. And the card wallet. I got it in silver hardware. Here is a closer view of the wallet. It also has a pocket in the middle and then what's in the rest of the box is just some more information about the wallet and then a certificate of authentication for reference this is my ysl wallet it looks okay on camera but i really stuffed this a lot and i don't need to carry a lot of cards on me so yeah I think the Prada is good enough so I just have a select few things to bring so that you know if I lost this wallet it would have been awful because I'd have to call all my credit card companies and now I'll just carry a few so if I ever lose it it won't be crazy hard to remember what I have stuffed in here. But I do recommend this wallet. To close off this video, I got this book from Urban Outfitters called The Little Book of Big Corgi Butts. I mean, I could not resist. I love corgis. And the cool thing about this, oh my god, Sailor Moon. I mean, you just gotta get it. But there's coloring sections and I feel like this will take me forever to do. So something to pass off time with and to relax and... I feel like coloring is very calming and I have been done that much as an adult but I did enjoy it as a child but I think this is a very cute book to get for those corgi lovers out there.